So, let's solve this problem. So, to find the integral of sine to the power 4, 3x times cosine squared 3x, then the dx. So, first, we need to rewrite the sine to the power 4, 3x as sine squared 3x times sine squared 3x. Then, bring down this cosine squared 3x times the dx. Then we need to put this exponent outside. So this becomes the integral of sine squared 3x times sine 3x times cosine 3x to the power 2 then times the dx. Then using the trigonometric identities for the sine 3x times cosine 3x since to sine a times cosine a, this is equal to sine to a. So if we have sine a times cosine a, this is equal to 1 half times sine to a. So for this sine 3x, then times cosine 3x, this is equal to 1 half then sine 2 times a, and a is 3x, so times 3x, so this is equal to 1 half, then sine 6x, so this becomes 1 half times sine 6x to the power 2, then times the dx, then using the identity for the sine squared 3x, then sine squared a, this is equal to 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2a. So for this sine squared 3x, so this is equal to 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2 times a. And a is the angle, so that's 3x. So, this is equal to 1 half times 1 minus cosine 6x. So, this sine squared 3x is equal to the integral of 1 half times 1 minus cosine 6x. Then, for this equation, so distribute the exponent. So, 1 half to the power 2. This is equal to 1 fourth and distribute this exponent. So this becomes sine squared 6x. So we have sine squared 6x then using this identity. So this becomes 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2 times 6x or this is equal to 1 half times 1 minus cosine 12x. So this becomes 1 fourth times 1 half times 1 minus cosine 12x, then the dx. Then to simplify, so we need to multiply these whole numbers. So this 2 times 4, that's 8. And 8 times 2, that's 16. So we have 1 over 16. Then put this constant outside. So this is 1 over 16 times the integral. Multiply these two equations. So 1 minus cosine 6x times 1 minus cosine 12x, then the dx. Then using the FOIL method, so this is 1 over 16 times the integral of 1 times 1, that's 1, and 1 times negative cosine 12x, that's negative cosine 12x, then this negative cosine x times 1, so negative cosine x, and negative times negative, that's positive, cosine 6x times cosine 12x, then the dx, then to simplify, so we have 1 over 16 times the integral of 1 minus cosine 12x minus cosine 6x, then plus. 
So for this cosine 6x times cosine 12x, so using the identity, so if we have cosine u times cosine v, so this is equal to 1 half times cosine of u minus v, then plus cosine u plus v. So for this even, so this becomes 1 half, then cosine, so this 12 minus 6, this is equal to 6x, then plus cosine, this 12 plus 6, that's equal to 18x, so therefore, this becomes 1 half plus cosine 6x plus cosine 18x times the dx. Then to find out the integral, so we need to integrate every terms. So bring down this 1 over 16 times the integral of 1 dx, then minus the integral of cosine 12x dx, then minus the integral of cosine 6x dx, then plus 1 half, then the integral of cosine 6x dx, then plus the integral of cosine 18x. Then to evaluate now the integral, so since the integral of 1 dx or the integral of dx, that's equal to 1, then minus for the integral of cosine 12x. So since the integral of cosine u, this is equal to positive sine u over the integral of u. So for this cosine 12x, so since the integral of cosine is positive cosine, so we have minus cosine 12x over the derivative of 12x, that's 12. Then for the integral of cosine 6x, so this becomes minus sine 6x over 6. Then bring down this 1 half, then times the integral of cosine 6x, so this is sine 6x over 6 then plus the integral of cosine 18x, so this is sine 18x over 18, then plus c, then to simplify, so distribute this 1 over 16, so this becomes 1 over 16 times x, then distribute this 1 over 16, and 16 times 12, so this becomes negative 1 over 92, times sine 12x, then to this term, so we have 16 times 6, so this is negative 1 over 96 times sine 6x, then to this term, so 1 over 16 times 1 half, so this is 1 over 32 times so bring down the sine 6x over 6 plus sine 18x over 18, then plus c. Then to simplify, so distribute this 1 over 32 to sine 6x over 6. So 32 times 6, so this is 1 over 192 times sine 6x, then to this term, so 32 times 18. So this is 1 over 576 times sine 18x, then plus c. Then this time, since we can combine these two terms, so negative 1 over 96 sine 6x and positive 1 over 192, then sine 6x. So just add or subtract the fractions. So we have negative 1 over 96, then plus 1 over 192 
equal, so this is negative 1 over 192. So we have 1 over 16x minus 1 over 192 sine 12x. And this is equal to negative 1 over 192 sine 6x. Then bring down this positive 1 over 576 sine 18x. Then plus C. So this is now the integral of this sine to the power 4 3x times cosine squared 3x dx.